in this video. This is now getting very imminent for the Bitcoin prices right now. This pattern is getting very tight. Stay tuned to know more. So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. So let's dive into this video and let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So the other day, we had a Bitcoin decision time because look at this. It's actually retesting the previous resistance. And if you're going to get a candle close above this resistance with buy volume, then that is a confirmed move up until the 42.5k. And what happened is we didn't get candle close above the resistance. We did not see any buy volume. What happened is we closed it below. So in that case, that led to a continuation of movement here with the Bitcoin price action. So right now, we still have a breakout. But look at this, guys. This pattern is getting very tight now. And at some point in time, we are going to see a massive move. It's just a matter of time lang talaga on when are we going to see that move talaga. But right now, we are actually monitoring this falling wedge. And a falling wedge is a bullish pattern to the upside. And ito yun yung traditional movement ng mga falling wedge. And look at this. We are also seeing a bullish divergence forming within the 4 time frame, which we have been monitoring for the past few days na nga. And right now, andito tayo ngayon kay Bitcoin. And hanggang ngayon, kinukontinue pa din natin yung bullish divergence. So right now, what is my next trade dito kay Bitcoin? So as of the time being, nag-open ako ng panibagong long position dito. Nag-set ako ng stop loss just below the area, siguro around 37.2k. Nag-set ako ng stop loss. And then naka-open ako ng long dyan. Take profit area would number one be around the 38.7k, which is yung resistance. Number two would be the 39.6k. Number three, 40.5k or 40.6k siguro. And then finally, the 42.5 gain na target. Ngayon, ano ba yung reason ng ganun trade natin? So right now, the reason na nagsa tayo ng partial take profit around the 38.6k is if let's say, ma-reject tayo dyan, at least nakapag-take profit tayo. Para if let's say, bumaba siya. If nakapag-take profit tayo, tapos na ito yung stop loss natin. At least na-secure natin yung capital as well as yung ating profits. At the same time, if we are going to break this, eh ang magiging next target natin would be around this 39.7k. Now, the reason yung bakit naglagay tayo ng, ng sell order dyan or take profit area or partial take profit area is if ever, let's say, umakit tayo dyan, tapos walang buy volume and then maglilid dyan into fake out, kahit pa paano, nakapag-secure tayo ng profits din. Pwede natin gawin if let's say umakit tayo dito, if let's say umakit si Bitcoin price dyan, mag-set tayo ng panibagong trail stop instead of dito, yung stop loss natin dyan, ililipat natin around this area of around 39k na lang. Para if ever na umakit dyan around the 39.6k, Set natin dito yung stop loss para if either way, if let's say bumagsak, we are still in profits pa din. So right now, that is what I am currently monitoring dito and those are my latest trades with the Bitcoin price action. And that is right now what I am currently watching out dito with the latest movement, especially na this is a traditional bullish indicator dito for the Bitcoin price action. So right now, that's what I am currently monitoring. And guys, if you want to trade this opportunity na binabanggit ko, you can actually trade that with Bybit. And as of the time being, meron pa din tayong bonus with Bybit. All you have to do is just to sign up with my sign up link. Register lang kayo dito. And then you can actually claim by depositing an amount dito kay Bybit. So just claim this bonus, guys, if you are new to our channel. And if you want to start trading yung opportunity na sinabi ko kanina. But anyway, let's dive into the altcoin market and look at this. Dominance is still increasing. So that is indicating na altcoins are relatively bleeding against Bitcoin right now. So kasi umakit yung ating Bitcoin dominance. And typically, whenever the dominance is increasing, that would indicate na altcoins are underperforming. In order for altcoins to perform better, Bitcoin dominance must decline. Dapat maging red siya in order for altcoins to perform better. But if ever na, let's see, lalo pa ito umakyat, then of course, that is a bad thing for the altcoin market. But right now, I think what we can monitor dito would be this ascending channel right now forming within the Bitcoin dominance. So this is what we can actually monitor right now. So for the time being, medyo mahina yung galawan ng altcoin market natin. Pero if let's say, biglang nagkaroon tayo ng malaking red candle dito, yung paganyan, then we might see an altcoin season window. In that case, magiging healthy mga galawan ng altcoins natin if ever na let's say, nag-continue to pababa. And right now, let's dive into the altcoin market and let's give you a quick update with Ethereum. So look at this. Di ba yun nga, nakita nyo pataas yung ating Bitcoin dominance. So in that case, yung ating bagsak ni Ethereum, pagbagsak niya is mas malala siya kesa sa Bitcoin price action. Tinan nyo to. Kay Bitcoin, ganun yung falling wedge natin. Kay Ethereum, mas malalim and mas steep yung ating falling wedge. So in that case, lalong nagbe-bleed yung Ethereum against Bitcoin. But ito yung kagandahan dito guys, look at this. 
Diba? Traditionally, falling wedge is a bullish pattern to the upside. And right now, we are still seeing a massive support within the support area ni Ethereum. So right now, we are still continuing this falling wedge. And on top of that, meron din tayong bullish divergence forming. So right now, ano ba yung magiging trade ko dito? So similar with the Bitcoin price action, ganun na ganun din yung gagawin ko strategy. Mag-open ako ng long position, set a stop loss just below the, ano, the falling wedge. Then targets natin ngayon would be around the resistance, around the 2,847 US dollars. Number two, siguro around the 2,838. Number three would be the 3,021. And then our final target is the 3,179. So, sinabi ko naman yung reason kanina kung bakit natin yung ginagawang trade and kung bakit doon tayo nag-set ng buy orders as well as sell orders as well as kung bakit pa tayo nag-set ng ganong stop loss at well as take profit area. So, binanggit na natin lahat kanina. But at least alam nyo ngayon kung ano ba yung magiging trades ko ngayon dito with Bitcoin as well as Ethereum. But anyway, yun muna update natin for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.